Hi, Paul here from Trek It with, uh, with Harry back behind the camera and we are once again out here filming our inside look videos. We've got Harry's dog Tess with us and we've got Nelly with us as well. Uh, it's just lovely to be out. It's a bit breezy, it's a bit blustery today. It's quite cool, the sun has gone in. And uh, we are out here today to talk to you about this rather gorgeous Arcteryx Beta L. T. This is a new version for spring summer 2021. It has had a fabric revision and a price revision. It's actually come down a little bit in price thanks to that change in the fabric, but we'll go on to that in a little bit further. Uh, I, I'll let you know that I have owned uh, a Beta LT for many years, so I feel qualified to comment and to tell you about this new version and really the main differences between the old one and the new one and uh, yeah we'll, we'll get stuck in and uh, fill you in with all the information that you need throughout the video. Okay so before I start prattling on about all the techie stuff don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you hit the little bell icon you'll get notifications as soon as we post any new videos. So what is the new Arcteryx Beta LT? Well it's basically the same as the old Beta LT in as much as that it is a waterproof and breathable hard shell protective jacket for hill walking, mountain walking, etc. Uh, like I said, there have been some, some differences between the old one and the new one. I'll go into that in the fabric section. So it's designed primarily for hill and mountain use. It's tough, it's durable, it's lightweight, it's highly protective, it's totally waterproof, and it's got great breathability. It's kind of uh, a super versatile mountain hard shell. So uh, what is the Beta LT made from? What was it made of? I don't know, one of those two. Anyway, uh, well, the, the, the kind of the core component that, that's making the jacket work and perform is the Gore-Tex fabric. Uh, so it's got a tough, nylon 40D, so kind of mid-weight outer fabric um, and that's throughout the whole jacket so it's nice and light without being kind of featherweight light but it's not kind of tough and gnarly, it sits squarely in the middle so there's enough durability there for general hill and mountain walking and a bit of light mountaineering and then sandwiched in between that face fabric and the soft trico lining is your ever reliable Gore-Tex membrane. Now the old Beta LT, or the previous Beta LT, uh, was made using Gore Pro. So it had um, a slightly more breathable membrane and a slightly more durable inner. Um, but to be honest, um, there's not a huge amount of difference between this standard Gore membrane and the new uh, Gore-Tex Pro range. Uh, if you want to fill your boots on all of the information about the new Gore fabrics, Harry will put a link up and I'll take you through to my video where I've explained all of the differences with the new fabrics. So this new Beta LT is using standard Gore with a Trico backer and a 40D nylon face fabric. Now, I know what some of you might be screaming at the, at the screen here. Oh, it's a downgrade. Gore, you know, Gore isn't as good as Gore Pro. Uh, but to be honest, for, for kind of your, your, your average user, pretty much somebody like me, who's not going to be testing things to the extreme, you're going to be hard pressed to notice the difference. But one difference that I noticed immediately, you know, like I said, I do own, uh, 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 I do own a LT in Gore Pro. And the thing that I noticed immediately with putting this new one on is that it's softer, it's quieter, it's less crinkly. The old one was a bit of a crisp packet, to be honest. You know, Gore Pro is designed to be super gnarly, so it's tough, and that fabric can be a bit crinkly and a bit noisy. So this instantly feels softer, more comfortable, and far less noisy. Okay, let's, uh, let's go through the features. There have been uh, a couple of feature changes uh, with this new version over the previous version. Uh, but I can just reassure you that you still get that fabulous um, anatomical patterning and e-fit patterning 
that Art Terex do so well. So the, the, the kind of the way the jacket moves with you, the way that it's been cut is absolutely fabulous. So you still get those core feature sets around fabric engineering and pattern cutting that are unique to Art Terex. But okay, let's start up at the top. You get um, that storm hood. So that will fit over a helmet, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not a massive helmet compatible hood. Uh, so it's more suitable to fit over a cap or a beanie or even your head. Uh, so the assumption is this jacket's going to be used more for kind of hiking and you know, walking rather than all and out mountaineering. So you're less likely to be wearing a helmet. Uh, it's fully adjustable. You get those cinch cords, you get the draw cords at the side, you get the stiffened brim. So your same kind of hood that you had with the previous um, Beta LT. Uh, pockets wise, uh, there are now just the two pockets. So you've got the two large hand warmer pockets up on the front here. A-line pockets sighted nice and high. So they sit out of the way of any harness or any rucksack hip belts. And then the big new addition are the pit zips. So the old Beta LT didn't have pit zips, but this one does. There you go, look. And they're a great addition. They really help to dump heat if you're working hard, but you don't want to unzip the whole jacket to expose your chest area to the cold. It means you can unzip under the arms and just dump all that excess heat. You get nice pre-curved anatomical arms, really comfortable, easy to move with. And then down at the bottom, you've got these really nice little die cut Velcro adjusters, which seal up really tight. I mean, I have got famously skinny little wrists, but these seal up really neat and tight around my wrists or will open up to dump heat or to fit over heavier gloves or mitts. And then right down at the bottom, you've got a dual sided, dual pull draw cord, which pulls in right from the front all the way around. So you get a really good seal around the bottom of the jacket, helps to trap all that warmth inside, stop all the drafts blowing up. Uh, one thing uh, that isn't here, that is on the previous uh, jacket, and I know if I don't mention it, you, you'll ask me, there is no longer an internal pocket. They've kind of swapped out uh, pit zips in favour of an internal pocket. You can't have it all, they can't reduce the price and give you all of the features and all the best fabrics. So uh, I think this feature set really suits the intended purpose of the jacket and the new fabrics and works really well. The main zip on the Beta LT is the YKK watertight zip. Now this was one of the first zips in production to pass WL Gore. They're the people who make Gore-Tex fabric and they uh, set all the standards for kind of how a jacket's designed in terms of waterproofing. And this zip was the first one to pass their watertight guarantee. Now it doesn't make it 100% waterproof, but it does make it one of the most water resistant zips that you can get. Uh, and those watertight zips are also uh, followed down into the hand warmer pockets. So again, not 100% waterproof. So if you're going to carry your, your camera, your smartphone, whatever, in those pockets, put them in a protective bag. And those pocket zips also feature Art Terrace's rather clever RS sliders. Uh, and that basically means the slider of the zip goes right up to the top and pinches the zip close right up to the top, uh, negating the need for those little zip garages that you sometimes see on other jackets. So yeah, a really neat way of uh, providing as much protection from the weather for those pockets as possible. But please do remember the pockets aren't 100% waterproof. So how does the Art Terex Beta LT fit? Uh, well, it fits almost identically to the, uh, to the old one, to my previous one. I think if I had it with me, uh, I could compare instantly. But yeah, it feels very, very similar. It's a great fit. It's based around Art Terex's trim fit. So it's not kind of big and baggy, uh, built for like multiple layers underneath. Uh, but it's just neat and trim, but with enough room. So uh, if you're familiar with my videos, you will know that I'm six foot three, got a 42 inch chest, 34 inch waist, weigh about 13 and a half stone. And this is a UK large and it fits really, really well. I've just got lightweight layers underneath. I've got my Art Terex Phase SL. 
I've got a mountain equipment switch jacket on and I've actually got the um, Atom SL Anorak on which we were filming earlier just because I was getting a bit cold. So I've got three layers on under here and, and it fits really nicely. There's still plenty of room to move around the shoulders. There's no, well, no discernible lift at the hem when I lift my arms and the sleeves are nice and long. They come down over the back of my hands really nicely. So it's a great fit. Uh, but yeah, it'll fit nicely over a base layer. It'll fit nicely over multiple layers. It's a, it's a really neat but comfortable fit. Okay, that's it. That's the new Arcteryx Beta LT jacket using the new Gore fabric with pit zips and a new price. So uh, it remains one of, I think, one of the most versatile mountain hard shell jackets out there. Like I said, I've had a Beta LT for many years and I've used it for all sorts of things from biking to mountaineering and it's performed superbly and I can see no reason why this new version would be any different whatsoever. It's a little bit quieter, it's a little bit softer, feels really great, and you've got the big added bonus of those pit zips for enhanced ventilation. So it's just beautifully made uh, with Arcteryx's immaculate attention to detail and their very, 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 very clever fabric technologies and patterning, so you're assured of that fabulous fit and feel and it's just a super 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 versatile jacket if you just wanted one jacket for all of your mountain activities providing of course you're not doing some really really gnarly mountaineering uh, this would be the perfect jacket so excellent thanks very much for watching it's been a pleasure to come and talk to you guys again i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any comments or questions pop them in the section below it's always good to hear from you and uh, I'm going to sign off. So uh, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.